be back in the Lord's house tonight. And if there's ever a time I needed God's people's prayers, it's tonight. And uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity that Brother Lawson's given us to stand. And God knows my heart tonight and, and uh, the struggles I've had. And, and uh, he's took care of all that tonight. I'm glad that he's a God that can move in. I'm glad that he's a God that can take care of whatever I need him to take care of. Even when you ain't even worthy of anything at all in this world, God's always there. He can get a hold of you and he can make something out of you tonight, amen. I'm glad uh, that God had saved my soul when I was a 90. I don't know if that thing's even gonna work or not. It'll be all right. Uh, but I'm glad tonight that God saved my soul when I was a nine-year-old little boy and uh, down at Piney Grove Missionary Baptist Church, there was a man, uh, he'd got up and he preached hell hot that night and I knew that uh, I was on my way to a devil's hell. I knew that uh, I was headed for a place that I wasn't gonna be able to get out of. I, uh, they wasn't nobody that was going to be able to help me that night but God. And I knew that. Yeah. And the preacher, he asked, he said, uh, he said, I want all the parents to go over there and stand uh, beside their kids if they're lost. And mom and dad come over there on that side of the church right there and they stood beside me. And I was, I was a nine-year-old little boy and I was just broken hearted. And there was a man that was a man of God and he come up beside of me and he said, boy, uh, he said, are you lost? And I said, yeah. And I'm going to tell you right now on the authority of God, God's word tonight that God saved my soul before I ever got to that altar that night. I didn't have to say uh, some big long prayer tonight. If you're here and you're lost and you're headed to hell, uh, God will save your dying soul tonight. Amen. Uh, I believe tonight that the rich man, I believe he's in hell tonight. Amen. And I believe he's still wanting that one little drop of water on his tongue to cool it. I believe he's in torment in them flames tonight. Amen. They won't go away, children. I'm telling you right now. Uh, this book right here tells me once you're there, you're locked in place. Amen. There ain't nobody going to pray you out of there. Amen. I began to study this week and... I went and talked to Brother Lawson, and uh, there's, there's a lot of things, a lot of obstacles I've had to overcome, and uh, I, I pastored a church for a little while, and, and God was good to me there, and, and I'll tell you tonight that uh, it's been a while, I'll just be honest with you, since I've been able to stand up here behind the sacred desk, and uh, I believe this is a holy place right here, don't you? Yeah. Hey man, I, I believe that if you ain't right with God, you ain't got no business up here trying to tell somebody else uh, uh, how to live their life, hey amen. Uh, I believe that with all of my heart tonight, and I had to get some things fixed up with the Lord, and uh, if you got your Bibles tonight, I want you to turn over to the first John, uh, the first chapter, and I got just a few verses I want to read there, and uh, I don't know tonight where this is going to go. <laughs> uh, I, I, this 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 message has run me from one lid of this book to the other. Uh, I don't know where I'll end up tonight. So you just hang on, and uh, you let God and you let Him help you pray for me. And if, if that happens tonight, we'll have a good time here in the Lord. Amen. I believe He's here tonight, don't you? I'll tell you, if that song right there don't light your fire, your wood's wet. <laughs> uh, you need to come up here and figure out what's going on. But because, uh, praise God, you ought to be a shouting because you don't have to go to hell. Amen. Amen. It says here in John, the first chapter, uh, the fifth verse, it says, Then, this then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him no, is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Boy, that's pretty plain right there, ain't it? I always believe plain English is easy understood, amen. Uh, it says on, if, but if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. Did you get that, amen? If we say that we ain't done nothing wrong, we are lying. That's what it is. Amen. And the truth is not in us. Amen. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Amen. You may be seated. 
I hope that the Lord will show up here uh, uh, tonight. And I want to look at that ninth verse for just a little while. Uh, uh, this thing's choking me out. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Tonight, I, I began to think about this and I went back and I began to study and uh, I got down there and I got to reading about that woman down there at the well that night. Amen. Uh, she needed some help, didn't she? Yeah. Amen. Uh, Jesus was down there and he said, I've got to go through Samaria and that wasn't just a coincidence. Amen. Uh, he had to go through there for a purpose and he got down there and he was thirsty and uh, there was this woman that come down to the well down to Jacob's well down there and she comes she didn't know what kind of help she needed uh, but she goes she was going to get some that night amen amen, amen. i'm glad that uh, uh, that well of living living water is still uh still springing forth today amen uh, i'm glad that jesus was there for her amen uh, let me find this real quick here <sighs> John, the fourth chapter, if you want to follow along. Amen. The Bible says he left Judea and departed again unto Galilee, and he must needs go through Samaria. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied uh, with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. Uh, there cometh a woman uh, of Samaria to draw water. Uh, Jesus saith, saith unto her, uh, Give me to drink. Amen. Uh, he was asking her for something. You know it. Uh, he was wanting her to give him a drink but little did she know uh, that he was there to give her one amen uh, she didn't know who she was dealing with that night uh, I didn't know who I was dealing with that night that I got saved uh, I knew with beyond the shadow of a doubt uh, that he was able to save my soul uh, when I was born uh, my mama threw me through the church door and I've been there ever since I knew I knew about Jesus. I'd heard about him. Uh, sometimes the hardest people to reach is the people that sit in a church house all of their life. Amen. 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 I worked with a young man one time. <clears throat> And he had a wonderful testimony. Uh, and he said, I was out in the world and uh, he lived in a rough part of town here. And, and, and he told me, he said, God got a hold of me. And he brought me out of that. And I got to thinking about that. I thought, man, what a testimony to have. You know, uh, I've sat in a church house all of my life and uh, I didn't know uh, uh, everything there was to know about the Bible, but God saved me anyway. And this boy here, I always said, you could take the boy out of the hood but God takes the hood out of the boy amen God saved his dying soul and he had a wonderful testimony and how God changed his life amen I, brother Roger I know uh, what he did for you. I've heard you say you wasn't nothing but a junkyard dog, amen. I know what he did for you uh, because he done the same thing for me. And if you're lost here tonight, uh, you can get the same drink of water, amen, uh, that this woman got here in the book. Uh, I'm going to tell you tonight, she said uh, she went down there after she got what she needed that night. And she in the 29th, 29th verse, uh, she said, come see a man. Hey man, I, I believe there was some confession going on that night. I, I, she went down there and she told him. I, I, she said, you ought to come and see what happened to me. I, I, I met a man I, I, that saved my soul. Hey man. Hey man. Jesus told her, he said, if you knew, if you knew who I was, you would ask me for a drink. Hey man. Do you know who he is tonight? Uh, do you know? Nah, he's the one that hung on a cross of Calvary for you. Uh, Brother Lawson, you talked about that this morning just a little bit, and I got to thinking about that today. I got to thinking about the nails uh, that they drove in his hands and in his feet. And I, I got to thinking about that, and you was talking about love this morning. I ain't trying to recap nothing you did. Uh, but I got to thinking about it, and God showed me something. Thank you, brother. God will bless you for it. <clears throat> now then, I got some more gas. 
<clears throat> I got to thinking about those. And there was a nail of mercy. And there was a nail of grace. And he stood on the nail of love. Amen. Amen. Love, grace, and mercy. Amen. Is what held him to that cross. Amen. And if it hadn't have held him to that cross tonight, uh, every one of us would be headed to a devil's hell. Amen. 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 He goes on down there and he told her, he said, Whosoever drinketh this water shall thirst again. This right here, probably the same stuff. Here in a minute, I'll have to hit it again. My mouth will get dry and I'll need some more water, but the water that Jesus gave me yeah. that night <laughs> of that living water, yeah. it's springing up inside of me. Yeah. I'm, Brother Lucas, I'm going to tell you, Satan has come through and he train wrecked me. I'm going to tell you he did, brother. I, but God come in I, because I'm one of his. I, there's a bunch of naysayers out there and they'll talk about you and they'll do this and they'll do that. I don't care what they got to say. God called me to preach when I was a 19 year old little boy and I told him, Brother Lawson, you know the conversation we had. I said, if I can't have the power of God. I, I, I don't want none of it. Yeah. Amen. If I can't stand behind this sacred desk and preach to you the word of God of how true and how pure it is, I don't want anything to do with it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I believe he's here tonight, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Huh? I believe he's here tonight. Uh, amen. Uh, he told her, he said, but whosoever... I drinketh of the water that I shall give him, I shall never thirst. Uh, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him uh, a well of water uh, springing up into everlasting life. Uh, now I don't know what people don't understand about that part of it. Amen. Uh, he said everlasting. Uh, John 3 16 uh, uh, says everlasting. Amen. Uh, I ain't going to lose it. Uh, and he ain't going to lose me. Amen. Uh, I might get out of the will of God uh, and I might not be where I ought to be. Amen. Uh, but he knows where I at and thank God for grace and mercy uh, tonight uh, you may be here and you may have a wall built up in your life uh, and it's destroying you I'm going to tell you right now uh, that you can be just like they was uh, down there with Joshua amen uh, the children of Israel uh, they just come through uh, the Jordan River and God told Joshua uh, he said you take them down there uh, he said and you can pass that city uh, he each day uh, on that seventh day uh, he said you go around her seven times uh, uh, you know what happened on the seventh day uh, uh, brother they blew the trumpet uh, uh, when they did uh, uh, the walls of Jericho fell yeah. it's time you tear the wall down in your life amen, yeah. amen. 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 it'll destroy you yeah. amen a lot of people and don't get me wrong when I say this you folks out there watching you may have to have a doctor, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to tell you the true physician is right here. He can fix anything you've got. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He can fix it. He can take care of it. He'll carry it right to God the Father. He'll make intercession for you and he'll fix it and you won't have to worry about it no more. And then here comes Satan with his wedge and his sledgehammer. Amen. That's what that rascal does. That's what he done to this woman here. She was out there and she, the Bible said she had five husbands and Jesus told her. He said the one you got now ain't even yours. Amen. Satan had took her and used her for his honor and his glory and I'm going to tell you right now on the authority of this book if you're not where you ought to be with God then you ain't a living for him like you ought to and there's only two alternatives in this thing you're either for him amen or you're against him and if you're against him then you're following the deceiver amen amen that's where you're at amen you got to take your pick I'm going to tell you who I'm going to pick. Huh? I'm going to tell you exactly who I'm going to pick. He's the one that takes care of me every day. He's the one that lets me get up every morning and go to work. 
Amen. I could be laying flat on my back paralyzed. I could be, but God sees fit. He still got a work for me to do. He could have shut me down. He could have put me in the box and let them throw the dirt in on me, but he didn't. Uh, you know why he didn't? Because he still got something for me to do. Yeah. Amen. Uh, he still got something for you to do. Amen. Uh, he said over there in John, he said, confess your faults. Confess your sins. Amen. Tell him. Talk to him. I've heard this man right here ever since I've been here. he get up here and preach. And he says, talk to God. Every service, talk to God. Just talk to him. Go out there on the porch and talk to him. He'll talk back to you. Amen. You just got to talk to him. Uh, amen. The woman saith unto him, she said, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw, Amen. That's all she had to say right there, and it was done. Just that quick. Huh? I believe he applies the blood to our hearts. You know, back there in Pharaoh's day, they was the tenth plague. Amen. Uh, God told them down there, they said, uh, if you don't uh, uh, follow my statute here, here's what's going to happen. Uh, he said, I'm going to come through Egypt uh, and I'm going to kill the firstborn everywhere. Amen. Uh, that's what he told them down there. And he said, here's what you got to do. Uh, he said, you go out there uh, and get you a sacrifice. It's got to be uh, the first year. It's got to be a male without spot uh, or without blemish. And he said, you take that uh, and you offer it up. Uh, and when you take the blood, uh, he said, put it on the doorpost. Amen. Uh, and the I believe when he saved my heart, he didn't get it just on the doorpost of the lintel. He saturated that rascal. Amen. He took some red blood and he washed her as white as snow. And one day, after a while, I'll get to see him face to face. Now, church, that's something to shout about. You sit there. Amen. Some of you twice dead and plucked up by your roots. I would to God. If you're a pew warmer, that you'd set that thing on fire. Amen. 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 Uh, Amen. Uh, set her on fire. Maybe your neighbor will get a little bit of it. Amen. Yeah. Uh, it'd be all right. I love him tonight, don't you? Amen. He's been so good to me. I don't deserve him. I don't deserve anything he's done for me. Amen. Uh I don't deserve nothing, but he, he's done so much good in my life. Sometimes I don't understand the trials and the tribulations that we have to go through as God's people. Amen. No. He didn't say it was going to be easy, did he? No. But he did say the way of a transgressor is hard. Amen. Yeah. You transgress against the will of God and not do what he tells you to do. You want to have some trouble? Buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Amen. Uh, he'll get his glory one way or the other. Amen. I believe it with all of my heart tonight. Amen. I could just see this woman. When she got, she got saved. I believe she run down there to them people as fast as she could get there. And she told them, I believe she went with excitement. Come see a man. Huh? Why don't you come see him? Because he can do the same thing for you that he did for me. It don't matter. You may be lame. You may not be able to see. You might not be able to hear. You might not be able to walk. You might be bed fast. Hey man, uh, there was a there was a man down there that was, wasn't they? Huh? What they do to get him to Jesus? Huh? Uh, they ripped the roof off that place and lowered him down in there to get to Jesus. Hey man, how determined are we? Hey man, uh, to get somebody to the Lord? How determined are we to live for Him? How determined are we to show somebody that's headed to hell to show them the love of God tonight? Huh? How determined are we? There's everything up there in the world today. Everything. If you want it, you can find it. Yeah. Amen, it's there. Yeah. Amen. The devil's got so much junk out there, it's unreal. You carry one of them on your hip every day, all day. That rascal will ring every now and again. Huh? 
It ain't nothing but the devil. That's all it is. It's full of it. You got waste book and all this other junk out there. Huh? That's all it is. You, uh, here we go. Here we go. Me and Brother Lucas was talking yesterday. He said, you know, if we read our Bible as much as we play that telephone, he said, we'd really know something about God, wouldn't we? Amen. We would. Huh? Ain't it something? Ain't it something? And all it takes is a devil to find a little crack in your life. Just a little crack. And he'll take that wedge and that sledgehammer. How many of you ever busted any wood in your day? I have. Huh? You know, you've got to get a crack in that rascal first before it'll ever split in the first place. You take that wedge and that maul, you rear back and knock the tar out of it. Huh? And then before you know it, that wood, it'll start splitting. Then you'll turn it around and you'll hit it again. And you'll split that off. And that's what Satan does to you. He'll split you every way he can. And then before you know it, you look at your life, it's in shambles. Huh? It's in shambles. You don't know how to fix it. And the only one that can put her together is God himself. Amen. That's the only one that can fix you. Huh? That's it. It's the only one. He loves you tonight. He surely does. He wants you. He wants your service. Tonight, if you're here and you're lost, friend, I'm going to tell you, all you've got to do is believe on him, that he come and he died and he resurrected and he'll save your soul from a devil's hell tonight. You can't be saved without being convicted. huh? I like what you said this morning about it. You can't drag them down here, brother. You can drag them down here and they'll be popping chewing gum and they didn't get a thing. They'll go right back out the door lost as a ball in high weeds. Huh? I'm not about no bubble gum salvation. Hey Amen. I want to see a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Huh? I want to see them broken when they come down here and you'll know they got something. Huh? Can't sign no piece of paper to get there. He said, I'm the way. I'm the only way. That's the only way you're going to get there is through Amen. Jesus. Amen. They want to find an alternate route for everything these days. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, the easiest thing in your life that you'll ever do is accept Christ as your personal Savior. Yeah. That's the easiest thing. He made it so simple, didn't he? Huh? It's not complicated. It ain't working a jigsaw puzzle. Huh? It's so easy. If you can take a little child that's five, six, seven, eight year old, and they can figure it out. Buddy, it's simple. Huh? It's very simple. All you got to do is believe on him. That's all you got to do. And he'll save your soul. And he'll keep you out of hell. Amen. Amen. But I'm going to tell you tonight. If you don't know him. And you don't accept him. Brother, I believe times are drawing now. He's coming. You better know. I remember when I was a kid. We'd go on vacation somewhere. And you'd go up interstate. And you'd say, Jesus is coming. Are you ready? About every two or three miles, there's some guy up in Ohio. He's paid, I don't know. He's got a sign every time you turn around going up through there. And it's what it says. All right, he's coming. Are you ready? Jesus is coming. Are you ready? All the way up through there. You think he's trying to get somebody's attention? Huh? Jesus is trying to get your attention here tonight. I don't know. You might be out there. You might not be sitting in this congregation and don't think that's your scapegoat. And I'll tell you this. And you've probably experienced this, brother. You've been in this ministry a long time. I have. I've seen it. I know Brother Roger has, Barry. But I've seen people sitting on the church roll for years lost, yeah, headed to hell. Yeah, sir. Huh? If I wasn't sure, boy, I'd run this altar and I'd figure out what was going on. Amen. Huh? Amen. Wouldn't you? Amen. You better know that you know that you know that you know. You better know. He might. That's what the Lord's put on my heart tonight. Brother Charles, you can come on. If y'all come and get to the instruments, get you a song. I want you tonight to know that you're saved. I want you to know that you know that you know that you're not headed to hell. Amen. If you're headed there, this is the place to fix it. You know, and tonight it might not just be for the lost. You may be dealing with something in your life. Right here's where you can fix it at. 
Huh? Let him take care of it. Let him, let him run around the wall a time or two. And he'll crush that rascal. Huh? Just like he did down there in Jericho. Hey, my. Go ahead, brother. If you need to come to the altar, would you please come? Thank you.